Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to Moonshine Gaming, video number one. So I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for a while now. Oh, I had one when I was younger, but uh, that was over a decade ago. Um, just had a really big video game collection buyout, and figured now is as good a time as any, because there's lots of awesome stuff in this buy, and uh, I think you guys are really going to like it. So maybe I'll give you a little bit of background about myself. I've been a video game collector for upwards of about 20, 20 years, 18, 20 years. And just got into reselling a couple years ago, kind of as a part-time thing. And with everything that's going on now with COVID, I've kind of taken it on full time, but I'm a collector first. So my rule of thumb is um, if I don't have a game in my collection, uh, I'll keep it if I find it. And then anything that I have in my collection, I'll resell. So um, with this big video game buy, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't have, a lot of really unique pieces. Um, so maybe we'll go through that and um, I'll show you some of the stuff I'm gonna keep and some of the stuff that I'll be selling. Um, yes, yeah, there's a lot of awesome stuff, so let's get into it. All right, so excuse my messy apartment first. This is all the games from the buyout. Now, I've kind of sectioned it off here. The stuff on the right, everything in uh, focus right now, that's all the stuff that I don't currently have and that's gonna be going into my collection. And this is everything that I already have in my collection or not interested in. These Fam Famicom games, I'm not really into these. Uh, Japanese stuff. So all this stuff is going to be for sale. Um, so that's just the games. There's about 300 games, I think. And now let's get into some of the other stuff. So here is all the systems that were included. Go a little bit more in depth uh, on these later. This one, this one I'm keeping. Is the one I didn't have the 3DO. Yeah, a couple Genesis's, uh, an N64, 3DO, Sega Saturn, Wii U, PS2 Slim, PlayStation 3 Fat, Xbox 360, and Atari 2600. They all have controllers with them. Uh, not all of them have all the cords, but um, it's mostly just HDMI's that are missing or um, other other cords that are not too hard to find. Here are uh, some of the figures that were included. Reboot, a couple of Amiibos, some Pokemon figures. I can't remember what this guy's from. I think he's from Diablo, maybe. Uh, Wario. This guy's awesome. <laughs> some Yu-Gi-Oh figures. Some more Amiibos. And this is some of the loose stuff. Well, I guess this stuff's box, but not consoles or games. Some spare controllers, whatnot. A couple of boxed Dreamcast mouses. Wii U controller charger. This is pretty cool. Sega Saturn Eclipse Stick. It's like a fight pad. I think this one's for the Genesis. Another fight pad. That's a turbo controller. I think it's for the 3DO. This guy is compatible with uh, 3DS XL. Hm. I've never used it, but apparently it's good for Zelda. I got a Wii U adapter for GameCube controllers. This is a PSP, but I wasn't able to test it because my charger is at my mom's house. And the charger that the charger that he gave me is missing half of the charger, so I have to wait till I go to my mom's house to see if this thing works. A couple eye toys. These are for the those um, motion games. They're like wannabe connect sensors. Uh, third party 
Wii controller and first party nunchuck. No idea what this is for. PS2 multi-tap allows you to play uh, with four players on the PS2. Super Nintendo multi-tap. I think this came packaged with Super Bomberman. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, allows you to play Bomberman with up to five players on the Super Nintendo. A couple third-party Super Nintendo controllers. Those will be good bundlers. These things are cool. So these work with the um, Lethal Enforcers game. I think maybe some other games as well. But they're for the Genesis. They're actually kind of expensive. I looked them up. Going between 60 and 80 I think, on eBay. Still got to test those, so I'm not sure if they work. This is just a bag of stuff that was broken. Like a plug-and-play N64 thing. Some broken controllers. Oh yeah, and this Frogger thing. Frogger Arcade. Tested it. It's working from the 80s. And here is the really nice box stuff. Oh, look at that. Wow. Oops. Yeah, so this is Prestige edition of uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. The disc in there is absolutely shot. It looks like it was run through friggin' sandpaper. So I gotta find another copy of the disc for this guy. All these I think are gonna be for sale. All of this is for sale. Interactor. This is like a backpack thing you would wear with the Genesis and it would like had like bases, had like a base in it and it would like shake you. So it, when you're playing fighting games, it would like, <laughs> there it is right there, make you feel like you're getting hit. It, it was a piece of crap. <laughs> this is the Uncharted 3 collector's edition, I think, or maybe Uncharted 1, can't remember. I can't even open it. Is this thing open? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, Uncharted 3. Got the steel case figure. There's like a belt buckle in here. And a chain in here or something, a ring. Yeah, it's kind of cool. I was never really into Uncharted too much, so I'll be selling this. Uh, I already have a complete inbox Genesis, so this will be for sale as well. Now, that complete inbox N64, I'm kind of tempted to keep because I don't have one yet. Don't have a box. Uh, Wii U, that's the... Uh, which version is that? Hold on. It's the Super Mario 3D World bundle don't have that either but that'll probably be for sale okay this thing's cool underneath here it's the logitech driving force pro steering wheel compatible with gran turismo and a couple other games some need for speed but i was testing that out and i got really into it <laughs> i ended up playing the game for like an hour. All right, and here's the here's the best best thing of the lot. Steel Battalion for the Xbox. It's all in there except for the big manual. That'll probably be selling locally. It's just too big, takes up too much too much space. I wouldn't be able to keep it. There's the game with it. I don't have the, I know there's two games. I only have this one, not the uh, the second game. I can't remember what the second one's called, but yeah, it's nice, nice stuff. So that's everything from the buyout. I think I'm gonna do a series, a couple videos going uh, more in depth into the stuff from the buyout. Stuff I'm keeping, stuff I'm selling, the systems, all that box stuff. Um, maybe I'll do a video for each of those, do a little bit of a series, but stay tuned and we'll have some more videos out soon. Thanks for tuning in.